Hello, my name is Voya and welcome to my deep guide. Well, the Huawei Mate Pad paper is finally here. I finally was able to get my hands on one. Obtaining this one was made possible only by you awesome Patreon supporters. So thank you, thank you so much. The one that I have here, I ordered it actually from AliExpress because they're, these are fairly difficult to get. And only recently they started selling in uh, uh, Europe. And that's just like Germany only and only black version only. So yeah, it was actually a journey. And of course I tried to connect with Huawei, but no response at any given point. No surprise there. So I'm really happy that I got my hands on this one. So let's unbox it and see what's it like. And here it finally is. Now before I start opening this, um, just gotta address that in the shipment, I received this and this. Okay, adapter for EU stuff, fine. This one is Glass Screen Pro Premium Tempered. And while uh, this is a great thing, if you're ordering an ordinary tablet, this is not a great start because this just shows that uh, whoever is bundling this and selling, I don't know if it's Huawei, but it is a Huawei store that I ordered it from on AliExpress. They, this is not going to have a paper like feel. <laughs> this is adding distance from screen, from pen to screen. They are saying super, uh, super slim, only 0.3 millimeters. While for a glass protector, that's great. Um, yeah, so you do get that, but I'm absolutely not going to use that because that, that's just like a complete, uh, uh opposite of what this device is supposed to be. So I'm just hoping that that's not an indication of things to come when I unwrap this and see what we get. So, oh, this is a nice touch. The surface of the box is actually quite, quite nice. So it's paper, not plasticky, and it just, just has a very nice feel to it. So that's kind of cool. So when you slide it out, this is first the device. This, I believe, will be the cover. All right, first now let's open this one up and see what do we get. It's white, I believe. Looks like it. Looks like I got the correct version. So the device is there. That's a good thing. This is easy to get out. Okay, cool. Yes, it is the correct version. You get the pen as well. In the accessories, you get a USB charger with this adapter that I got so that I can use it in my region. And here are some more accessories. A USB-C cable, not too long, just very tightly packed. Two extra nibs for the pen, and this is the standard that it uses. And some supporting documentation, all of which is in Chinese, which I do not read. So I can't really tell you what it says because this device is actually for Chinese market. And the other box, does it open the same way? Should. Let's see. There we go. The other box is the protective cover here as well, which actually seems rather nice. Okay, so the whole package contains the device, the cover, USB-C cable, some documentation, the pen, and two extra nibs. Fairly complete package. Now, let's focus on this dude. All right, let's get the device out of the protective cover and see what's it like. What does it seem to be like? Well, the first impression is interesting. I have to say that it feels and looks quite interesting. The first thing that strikes me is that it's extremely light. That's something that's really, really good. It's also relatively thin. I don't know exact specifications. I'll check them out later. I just want to see subjective first impressions of I just unboxed the device and checking it out. What's it like? So the, the feel under the hand is actually quite good. The main thing is that it's very light. That's a really good thing. So it's fairly, fairly easy to handle in one hand, which is good. But what I'm not sure about is that even though that these edges and the, the, the binding are on the side of the device, it looks really, really pretty. It really does. But I'm not sure if this is metal or not, because it does not feel cold 
to the touch as as I would expect metal to be and when I compared the two surfaces it is a little bit colder so maybe it's a some kind of a strange alloy I'm not sure I'm gonna have to double check those things but on the first look the build quality is actually very very nice so there's nothing sticking out the uh, finishing is quite good all the edges are chamfered and you can see that the precision was work is actually quite good on the side here this is an entirely different type of uh, structure and it's not leather it just feels like faux leather but it feels good it feels kind of like a notebook or a book kind of thing and that surface goes all the way on to the back as well we just have this kind of line here which i assume is to allow the transmission of wireless uh communication and it goes here as well another thing that really strikes me is one of the things that they were talking about which is the screen to surface ratio this is actually quite a small device and if i compare it to the remarkable which actually feels a lot heavier you can actually see that both devices uh while they are both 10.3 inch screens the uh, matepad paper is considerably smaller of a footprint than the remarkable now granted of course the remarkable is way way thinner but still it's a lot heavier and it feels a little bit more rigid now this kind of this this feels more i feel a little bit more at ease with this because it's uh, just kind of i don't know uh less fragile that's that's the first impression that i get here now the layout the screen is flush with the surface which is nice and the screen surface i am happy to say that it is not as reflective as we've seen it in the promo videos that they've released it's actually rather good so let me just compare it to the remarkable which has an excellent surface and this one diffuses as much as if not even a bit more and the intensity is definitely less than on the remarkable too so as i mentioned on the side you have this kind of surface that goes all the way and covers the entirety of the back on the back you just have a discrete huawei shiny kind of logo and some mumbo jumbo stuff on the top we have one speaker stereo microphones and i guess led indication a power button which doubles as a fingerprint reader as well on the side i believe that this is a volume rocker uh, it definitely looks and feels like it and on the bottom we have another speaker and a usb-c for charging data communication and all the rest of the stuff and that's pretty much it that is the device itself now the pen is super light i believe this is a all an aluminium build and it actually feels rather good in a hand now i don't know how much of a fan i am going to be of a pen like this but initial feel feels like writing rubber on plastic <laughs> which it is actually so no no felt tip there to make it feel nice but it's not terrible it's not terrible at all the first impressions okay um, from what I can see, there's no buttons, there's no eraser, no anything. Now, is it magnetic? Oh, yes, it is. Oh, it most definitely is. Okay, <laughs> strong-ish. Let's see how strong. So you can put it to the wrong one. You want to put it in the middle, just below the volume rocker. Let's see, can you lift it carefully? Can it lift the device? Easily. It easily lifts and holds the entirety of the device. So that's pretty, pretty cool. All right, before the first power up, now let's just see how does this whole thing fit into the protective pouch cover. I guess there's no mounting here, so I guess it's magnetic. Let's see. Um, yes, it just slides into the place and we're good to go extremely elegant packaging very thin and really really nice basically the same concept as the uh note air 2 plus does this oh, so many of these does it stick on the back yes it does so 
this one actually sticks on the back nicely comfortably and it holds the pen and it looks very very stylish simple but stylish it's not ideal there's a little bit of nya, 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 nya kind of thing but that's all right i mean it's nothing terrible i would much rather have it a little bit loose than overly tight and not good to have oh my god the magnets are <laughs> on this thing are insane okay so it lets go if you go all the way on the back all right all right so now is the moment that i'm dreading because <laughs> It's the first power-up and because this is a device for a Chinese market, I don't know and it's not an Android, it's their Harmony OS, I have no idea if it's going to be on Chinese and if I'm going to be able to switch it to English easily or not. So let's see. So here we also see a bit of a front light. Oh, okay. So this is already beeping and blimping. That's uh, unfortunate. Yes, we might be able to find English. English. Cool. All right. Let's see. Get started. Select region. Hey, finally, Norway. Uh, yes, I have very carefully read all of this. Okay, I connected to my Wi-Fi and it's activating the device, enable device protection to prevent unauthorized access. Yeah, I'm not going to give you my fingerprint and I don't want a password right now. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to do Huawei ID. Enable all enhanced services. Let's you read local ebooks and provide access to garbage. VLAN plus. No. Uh, no location services. No optimizer, no AI search. Browser service, I think, is going to be good. What does the AI search actually do? AI search allows you to search for files on your device and books online. During use, this app and its underlying search history require entry into the media and files, blah, blah, blah. They also need access to information about your device network app and, blah, blah, blah. and any other data you actively submit and upload. <laughs> no, thanks. So, browser service, okay. Automatic software updates, okay. Collaborative software updates. Collaborative include, allow you to update your device remotely from phones or tablets logged in. Nope, I'm not using a Huawei ID. Join the user experience, no improvement program. So just updates and browser services for me. Thank you very much. New navigation gestures. So simply swipe to go back, return home or view recent tasks. Give them a try. Okay, try. So swipe inwards from left edge. Go back. Just go back. It's a fairly good screen. It's actually refreshing very nicely. Swipe inwards from the right edge. All right. And return to home screen like this. Swipe up from bottom to reason. Okay. And I've completed the tutorial. All right, uh, finish. No, I'm Norwegian. <laughs> okay, and we are on. This is cool because it's in English. Well, uh, this is not, but it, the device is in English and it's the white one, the one I was actually hoping for. So, um, yeah, I, I, I really am not familiar with the Harmony OS. So I'm gonna have to, whoa, this is warm. What? Oh, I think it's wirelessly charging from the device. Yes, Bluetooth will be enabled when connecting. Double tap the virtual key. Where the hell is the virtual key? There's no indication where the virtual key is. Uh, if this, so it says Huawei on the side. So I guess it's around there. Okay. To quickly access features while drawing or writing. Quickly access notepad. Make a quick note from the lock screen by tapping the blank area at the top with your stylus. Okay, so this is gonna require some learning. So let's annotate. Uh, I am confused. 
what am I? Oh, I'm I'm annotating directly on here. Okay. Uh, no. <laughs> so you can actually write on top of your screen. That's very interesting. All right. So I can see that I'm going to have to learn how to use this properly. So I'm just going to go to notes here. Assume that I can hit plus to create a new lined template here. I'm going to use a fountain pen and I'm going to try and do some writing just to see how does it feel. So this is my first writing attempt with the mate pad paper. <laughs> oh, okay, you know what? Ah, <laughs> I was not expecting this to be to be like this. Okay, this is feeling and performing a lot, lot better than I expected it to. I honestly did not expect it to perform like this. This is actually feeling good. I mean, I had definitely I had bias uh, towards a pen like this. This is surprising because the performance of the writing is really, really fast, like properly fast. The pen writing is feeling not like a graphite pen, not like paper, but it feels quite, quite good. I mean, I really enjoy writing. But the most important thing is that the brushes are rather good. So this is a graphite pencil. Then we have a ballpoint pen. So this is not pressure sensitive. So fast and smooth. Fountain pen, how do you adjust the size? Bold, mid, fine. Okay. See what the bolt does to see the pressure sensitivity. Very nice pressure sensitivity. Actually, the pen is very, very responsive. And I just wanted to bring it up closer just so you can see the actual quality of the written uh, content. So this is, uh, again, very, very surprising. Then we have a marker actually quite good performance for a super thick line we have gray white how does it stack colors okay so it's not stacking them it goes it shoots kind of weird okay so let's see if i can write with the fountain pen on top basically racing but gray it's gonna be on top as well all right so that's kind of okay ish not perfect but okay how does the fine fountain pen work? Fine print. Very nice and very precise. And then you have this whole thing to actually explore and see. So, okay, uh, bookshelf. Do I get an example book or anything like that? No, I'm not going to use anything like that. I'm going to be transferring books manually and things like that. And then I'm going to see how that works because I, I don't want this to uh, uh, to have access to any of it. Yeah, I, I, I understand, but I'm not going to give you access to anything. All right. Well, um, I did not expect this. Definitely did not expect this. It's uh, it feels better. It looks better and it's more funkier than I thought. Uh, let's see the front light just before I and let's do not disturb. Thank you. That's all you need to do. It's like do not remind me. There we go. Easy peasy. You don't have to do any mumbo jumbo. You just go do not disturb. Okay and pencil is connected. Light mode. What do we have? And refresh you have normal and smart. Interesting. Okay so let's see we have day as a preset. 
It looks rather good. I think they're intentionally simulating this darker line, almost like a cover of a page when it's, you know, when on, on a book, because it's very uniform and very, very nice. Okay, let's see. Then you have a knight. Okay, and then we have super high intensity custom. Uh, do we have settings? Oh, we have a single light here. Ah, there's no warm light. Ah, it looks like it, at least. That it's not a dual front light system. All right. Uh, the brightness seems normal when you turn it off and the uniformity of the front light, as you can see on maximum, is actually quite, quite good. Yes, you do have this kind of darkening, but as I say, I suspect that this is actually intentional because the darkening is perfectly uniform on the whole side and it does resemble the uh, uh, bending of a page in a book. So that and actually kind of works for me. So that's fairly good and it works quite good when it's turned off. Now, the pan is definitely warming up quite a bit now. And I think that's the wireless charging. And I can see that this one is actually falling. Uh, so it is charging from the device, which is quite, quite cool and interesting. All right, well, there you go then. So <laughs> that's the Huawei Mate Pad paper first impressions. And now I can start using it so that I can start testing it to bring you an in-depth review. The first impressions are uh, a lot better than what I expected it to be. Honestly, like there was so many points that from the promo video I was uh, skeptical of. The first one was the reflectivity of the screen. That one is definitely not the case here. It's actually better than it is on the Remarkable, which is a really good thing to see. Second one was how does the pen feel and even though I, I admit personally I was biased against it, but this feels way better than I thought. And the third one is that the performance and the quality of the handwriting experience is a lot better than I thought it would be. It's actually really, really good. So that's at least the first impression. So after that, I'm going to be spending some time with it, see how it performs, what its capabilities are. First impressions, uh, really, really interesting. Very, very interesting device. And I can't wait to start spending more time with it. So yeah, well, there you go. So this is the Huawei MatePad paper tablet. As already mentioned, I'm very much interested in this and I find it extremely interesting and I can't wait now to start using it more and more and more to actually learn the operating system, what the capabilities are and to explore it so that I can bring you an in-depth review of the MatePad paper tablet. But the first impressions are actually a lot better than what I expected. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please like and subscribe and ding the notification bell down in the description below to get notified when new videos come out on my deep guide. Also, if you like what I do and you want to support my work and if you want to make it possible for me to actually obtain these hard to find devices and bring you independent reviews more, then you can consider supporting my work either via Patreon or you can check out the my my daily organizer. My daily organizer has been carefully designed to offer a comprehensive yet effortless all year round experience. If used daily and in a recommended fashion, My Daily Organizer, or MDO for short, can significantly improve your productivity, effectiveness, and efficiency in both professional and personal settings. Full interactivity with over 11,000 hyperlinks spreading throughout the entire document, dedicated Monday and Sunday week start versions of the document, full year calendar with access to any month, quarter, and day of the year. Quarterly organizer also with access to the months and the days of the selected quarter. Monthly organizer with quick links to weeks each day and also some room for organizational and planning notes for that month. Weekly organizer is also available with access to each day of the week and you also have one extra weekly notes page. Daily organizer side offers a daily planning
planner page, two dedicated note pages, and a diary page for each day of the year, which can help keep track of your short and long-term goals. And you also have access to 99 catalogued and numbered My Notes pages, and the same thing with 99 catalogued My List pages. There are three different cover styles to choose from, depending on your personal preference. And there's also a dedicated left-handed version of the MDO created especially for the Remarkable platform. MDO has multi-platform compatibility for the Remarkable, Supernote, and Books platforms. It can and will work on other platforms as well. Main prerequisites are that the platform has a dedicated PDF reader with support for writing annotations into the PDF and, of course, hyperlink functionality. If you would like to learn more about how MDO works, check the videos in the My Daily Organizer playlist in the description below. Or if you already like how MDO sounds and it's something that can help you better organize your professional and or personal life, then you can buy it at mydeepguide.com slash shop. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and see you in the next video. Bye.